YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Big Pharma Strategy and Tactics, Episode 10. So when they last left our cancer-fighting uh, company here, we are trying to get our, our uh, big tri uh, triple centrifuge line set up here with triple chromatograph, getting high-tech here. Um, but uh, the question of will space uh, be enough uh, still eludes us. So let's uh, let's find out, shall we? Right then. So, well, one thing we do need to get set up is an analyzer because there are two spaces, two concentrations. Actually, it has to be set up over here. There are two concentrations at which this drug will uh, play nice for us. Um, Yeah, it's, um, it is uh, a concentration of a four or a five will be asthma and cancer. So we need to find out which of those will uh, do well for us in terms of uh, making it all work. Uh, prompts sleepiness. Oh, I think that was just, is that... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just all the crap that we've been analyzing, i.e. I, I, destroying. So we finally learned sleepiness thanks to that. So yeah, we're going to find out the uh, the sweet spots and the hot spot of hallucinations. Hopefully, hopefully hallucinations are uh, are uh, out, uh, are, are not, uh, not too close. Yeah, this is some high-tech whirly gig in here. Oh, actually, which reminds me, before we go further here, I guess we can let the simulation cook here. Uh, might as well upgrade the chromatograph. I mean, these things are expensive to operate, so let's upgrade them. People are starting to get fed up with Jacob Beaver and his beauty tips. Uh, uh, screw acne. Um, cases of uh, hypertension, angina, and strokes are all down. And once again, hypertension takes it in the face. And new ingredients has been discovered. Ooh. A five dot catalyst. Nice. And another hypertension medication. Well, but still, that uh, that five dot catalyst. Um, we're starting to see some things that want a five dot catalyst. Um, I think. What wants five dot catalysts? Um, multiple sclerosis, sclerosis wants a five dot catalyst. Uh, but after all of that stuff, that's kind of a bit much. Uh, we'll see if anything else comes up with a want desire for a five dot catalyst. But it's good to know we have one. All right. So we're gonna let this cook. Let's check our ingredients while we wait for our, our analysis to come in. Um, and a yet another uh, yet another one coming in here. Uh, fish pieces. What else is expensive for us? And a histamine. This thing's expensive for us. 32, 34, 28, 30, 35. Nope. All right, we're starting to get some stuff in here. Uh, there's fights. Can't. Oh, it's right over at the edge here. Uh, come on, asthma. Work with me. Ah, uh, all right. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to please everybody with this uh, particular med, uh, but I do want to get both effects on there. Okay, so we need. What do we need to do? We need to get you down to uh, probably uh, well a two or a three. Uh, actually, we don't know what hallucinations is, is are, but uh, that's fine. Uh, so, come on, baby, work for me. No, wait, hang on. That's not gonna work. Hang on, let me uh, let me adjust this. That actually works a lot better. That actually works a lot better. No, that doesn't work better. Dang it! That... That actually works better. That works even more. Yes. 
I think. Hmm. Yeah, because I have a feeling the positioning of this uh, creamer is going to be critical. And unfortunately, you can't just mush it up against the door. I'd love to be able to do that, uh, but we can't. If we put it down like this, if we put it down like, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Yeah, if we do that, we could to potentially loop around and get something else in there. So that's probably our best bet for maximizing our space. Which means you are still going to be doing that. Unless... See, I'm just trying to think of a way to spin this, but nah. Well, at least this way we can walk it a little bit. We're going to have to walk it. There we go. Change the directions properly. All right, down to a 12. That goes to a 9. That goes to a 6. We need, we need one more at minimum. Um, can't ionize? Can we can we dissolve? Can we dissolve? Tell me I can. Yes, we can dissolve. We can dissolve. We can dissolve twice if we wanted to. Oh, let's dissolve twice. Oh, look at that fit. Look at that fit. It fits. It fits. <laughs> oh boy. It fits. All my dreams come true because it fits. Do I want to dissolve it once or twice? I want to dissolve it. Hmm. We'll see what the ratings are like. If I, if I need to, I can strip this out. But holy crap! Fights cancer, eases asthma. Oh man. Smokers. Lifeline. Because really, I mean, eases asthma, cure, and fights cancer? This is the smoker's drug. Right here. There. Wow. And how much is this thing at? 481. 481 bucks. And that's before the drug value things kick in. So not too shabby. Uh, kind of wish the hallucinations would be uh, uh, be out of our way, but eh, I'll take what I can get. And hey, we pressed the chromatograph into service. So woo, working good there. All right, let's uh, let's continue this uh, disgustingness, shall we? Uh, now, look, looking at my cures here, what do we got here? Liver disease is we can do two more lines of it, which means we can actually do a double barreled um, thing of liver disease since we know we're not going to get a free mix in there. Um, so a double double barreled liver disease sounds good to me. Uh, down here might be a good place for that. Uh, we just need to find a selection that has seven slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. All right, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, these three. Ah, uh, but that leaves that leaves uh, that leaves uh, just a plain three slots here. That's not good. I don't want to leave three slots alone. All right, so let's find seven slots here. This is our <laughs> these are our last two buildings. As you can tell, we have come uh, pretty darn close to the end here. Um, and we certainly have enough money to buy all these freaking blots. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, seven. All right, we're going to obliterate this thing. This stuff, this stuff doesn't make us jack. Yeah, nah, screw you gout. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the middle plot. And that leaves us three. 
Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, six. Yeah, is there any way for me to make this work that doesn't leave me just three slots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Dang it! Yeah, I don't have much of a choice but to leave the uh, leave a three for out there. But it does it, it is gonna be worth it. So alright, fine, we'll go with our original plan and do this. Alright, so what uh, what can we mix in with liver disease that doesn't require any shaking? Because you don't if you're gonna do the double barreled, you don't need you're not gonna do any shaking. Alright, so there's the gout. So it needs to be a two dot catalyst in the top two rows somewhere. Uh, top two rows, top two rows. Um, nope. There, blurs vision and urinary retention. Um, yeah, that's the only one that's in the top two rows. Were we, uh, were we going for another, um, yeah, you're, you're there. So we might switch over to, uh, the shill poppy. Um, uh, but for now we're going to have to use the, uh, um, the Jagostein quartz, which is fine. All right, so yeah, it doesn't matter the order now. Which ones do we want? Actually, we want all these. Mm, actually, what would we have to think about this strategically? Now let's just buy this up, because actually that might not be conducive to uh, to a double-barreled one. If we yeah, if we get that that and just obliterate this one right here, um, that'll give us the five here, and we can send them out to either one of these two. And stop that nonsense. All right. Do we want that or do we want the other one? I'm, I'm being indecisive. I apologize. Because if we do one, two, three, four, five, that's a really condensed way to get our multi mixers going. Although it's going to be kind of weird. Actually, yeah, that's going to mess up the, uh, the distances here. So yeah, we kind of want to stick, <coughs> stick to this. So you, Multi-mixer one. Multi-mixer two. <coughs> Three. So let's hook you all up. You go here, you go here, you go here and here, and you go right there. Beautiful. And then you two hook up together and you two hook up to oh yeah, I'm I'm happy with this as my placement of du jour. I wouldn't go through all this trouble for a level 2 cure, except that it just pays all that much. Uh, afterwards, we're going to explore the sexual health one, because I did say that that was a good line to take a look into, and uh, we need to do some scouting there. Uh, so let's see... Gout. Oh, well, we were importing gout before, so meh. Gout, and then uh, who is our buddy here? That was this one, this quartz. And then another gout. Starting to get uh, tricky to uh, keep track of all these. All right, come on, come on, game. It's starting to lag on me a little bit. I'm gonna need to restart after this episode. And the gout. There we go. All right, let's let these uh, bleed on through. Oh, hang on, you quit mixing. 
Yeah, we want the we want the gout. <clears throat> Excuse me, the gout to be the uh, dominant ingredient. Thank you very much. All right, good gout. Toggle base. Oop, looks like we got a bad one sneak through here. Yep. All right, so I think this blue stuff is our, uh, yep, there it is. All right, and six to eight, so we gotta drop the concentration. Um, yeah, we'll just ionize it. Six to eight, and it's what, a 13? 13, so I'd be, bring it down to one. Nope. And we'll just double ionize it. There we go. We'll just develop this first line first and then uh, go and do the other one. I don't think space is going to be an issue. In fact, I think we're going to have a lot of space on our hands here. We might be able to do something really fancy. Yeah, all right, so gout and then a dissolver will transform it. That'll work. We have such pretty medications. All right, liver disease. So it's going to, oh wait, urinary retention. Yeah. We uh, we get you up to hang on. What's your what's your ideal? Your your active your ideal is at a sixteen. So if we get you to an eight, and then uh, cryo cryo you, um, although we hmm, well, it might be worth the extra processing to uh, agglomerate this. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. So if we dissolve it one more time and then agglomerate it, that'll that'll uh, uh, annihilate that five, six, seven, eight, which will bring us right to where we want to go. And thus, we are able to destroy the side effects. So yeah, we actually might be able to uh, pull this off with a cryogenic uh, condenser. Uh, to both just get the concentration up where we want to, save some money on that, and get rid of that other side effect. So once again, the cryogenics uh, are good at uh, blowing away urinary retention. Yep, there goes fatigue, and we're at an 8, and then as soon as we cryogenic it, it, uh, it will take us exactly to where we need to go. That's beautiful. All right, we're, we're doing that. We're doing it. And we've got the room for, for a four condenser set up here. Um... Yeah, you guys are... this is going to be a little tough. Can we? Can we get away with this? We might not be able to. Alright, hang on. If we get you down here... Although, hang on. Yeah, no, that's going to trap it. That's going to trap it. It needs to go like that. So yeah, if we if we put you here and then put you like here. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. And then these two hook up to each other, and then we're going to wrap them around this way to get out of the way. Because this, this line's going to need room to grow. Uh, let's build up the other line here before I decide which ports to use. I'm going to buy up these last two, uh, these last two here, just so we can do this. All right, um, all right, so uh, two ionizers, two dissolvers, an agglomerator, and then those cryos. Uh, 
No, that works. Two ionizers. And some dissolvers here. We'll loop you back around here. Actually, no, we're going to want to take up, we're going to want to start tapping into the space over here. Mm, no. No, this work, this still works better. And then the agglomerator is going the wrong way. No, well, that technically works. It's not pretty though. And then you go get looped around here. Um, I'm thinking this line's gonna plug into here, and then this line's gonna plug into here. And we, I mean, keep in mind we can sacrifice one of these doors if we need to. Uh, because we got the three, uh, three fur. All right, um, you... Actually, that'll work out fairly well. Yeah, that works out perfectly. Put you here, put you here, and then you two hook up to each other. And actually, this works beautifully. Get our pill printer here because we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to creamify it. And look at that! Look at that! Look at that! I mean, heck, we could have uh, we could have each uh, each one of these things on its own pill printer. That works. Beautiful. And then yeah, these guys. Yeah, these uh, these guys will be uh, double pill printer as well. Yeah, we'll spread them out like that. Spread you out like that. Spread you down that like that, and then just hug the wall here to keep the contiguousness uh, going here. In that, my friends, should be our uh, super hyper advanced liver line here. We'll see if that uh, how that profit uh, compares to our other liver line. But again, it's double barreled here, so working in our favor. Yep, there goes the urinary retention, and we're way out of Blur's vision line here. Hmm, black liquid, eh? 517 bucks. That's craziness. I'm just curious to see what the, uh... What, uh... Oh, did I... I never hooked the second line up. Oopsies. That would be helpful if I did that. Yeah, once you feed into the pill printers, we'll get to see what, uh... What the cost here is. Or what the profit of it is here. 330. Not bad. Not bad. A bit of extra space for 330. But still not bad, all things considered. Um, so, and that's 330 times 2 here. It is going to have us name it. Yep. Um, let's see. This is. Um, Detox premium because it has no side effects. See, we will use the uh, we'll use that. Yeah, see, four. See, at a B plus, it's at a four twenty, and I have a feeling this stuff is going to go higher than B pluses because it's not. Uh, we're not dealing with any side effects. A little bit more in processing here, and quite a bit more in space, but still not too shabby. All right. So, uh, how much time? All right. You know what? Let's let's uh, let's start scouting the sexual health line. I've been I've been praising the virtues of sexual health. It's a lot more useful if you get it early in the game, 
um, because uh, female female contraceptives are really really good early in the game. Like if you get female contra if you get uh, uh, cures warts as one of your two starting ingredients, ah, female contraceptives are almost always a good early game bet. Okay, um, so what uh, what do you have here, uh, or what rather what do you need to go to contraceptive? Um, ionizer 13 to 15. Again, this is just this is just for scouting. Um, so we're just gonna do it sloppy and uh, it does take a lot of extra processing to get this where where they want it. Um, so six to nine to twelve plus a, a uh, an evaporator. And then I think the transformer is an ionizer, right? So if you had to process it this much early in the game, maybe not so much, but who knows? Maybe the female contraception will be, will be worth it. Or what I'm banking on, or I'm hoping for, is that the once we once the level three cure reveals itself, we can find a useful avenue to cures erectile dysfunction, because that tends to pay really well. Uh oh, we're at a we're at a sink here. Yep, we're out of sync. Hang on. We just gotta wait a couple of moments here. That should rectify it. Yeah, and these two are in sync here. Yep. All right. Yeah. Now we're now they're in sync. Research complete on the uh, ultraviolet cure. Yeah, the se that sequencer is going to take us a while. Uh, female contraceptive and an agglomerator with a triangular catalyst will get us to the uh, uh, alleviates erectile dysfunction. Interesting. Uh, Seventeen to nineteen, and let's see how much the erectile dysfunction uh, pays. Uh, 670 bucks. That's way up there with uh, compared to the other level threes. This is why it's really good because ED medication is very valuable and can be transformed with a not bulky machine here. Um, so let's see a triangular catalyst. We could probably maybe maybe see if we can get this working with a uh, uh, well, I don't know if we can get a double-barreled uh, one working for us. Because I know that the female contraceptive, yeah, it doesn't have any room in it. Uh, so let's check the uh, let's check the other uh, ones with uh, triangular uh, things. Yeah, that doesn't have any room in it, so they're just going to obliterate. That one doesn't have any room in it. Um, we might need to go hunting for a better uh, triangular um, thing here. Either that, either that or... That doesn't have triangular, and we haven't done deep sea yet. Or actually, hmm, whole new sexual health one down here at the Arctic Willow. So maybe we'll uh, we'll have something better, uh, better for us there. Because yeah, all these all these triangular ones are. Uh, yeah, we would need to centrifuge it in, and that's not the best. Either that, well, the other thing you can do to make room, hang on, what's, um, the warts are on, what, where are the warts? Uh, third, okay, so we need to find something who has a side effect here that can be obliterated. Um, because that, obliterating a side effect here will actually make room. Um, so if we pre-treat this and then move, mix it in, that might work. So, uh, that would give us antihistamine plus that, and that might not be... That might not be too bad, although we're already doing the insomnia thing. Um, the uh, what else? Uh, what else can be obliterated from the? All right, we can't obliterate the causes headaches, and we can't obliterate the nausea. All right, so let's. You know what? We're going to continue our experimentations here uh, in the next episode. So if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!